Welcome to my channel, The Review King. Do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications on. That way you can be notified when I make another helpful video. I'm always here to help. If you have any questions about stereo equipment or anything in any of my videos, don't be afraid to ask. I can always help out. So today we're just going to go through a simple how to install speakers video. And if you don't really know anything about speakers, that's okay, because they're not really that hard to install. So we're going to go over the basics. Every speaker has a positive and negative wire. And take a look at this speaker here. Um, the positive and the negative are represented to us by red being positive and black being negative. And on this speaker here, the receiver, which is the main part of the stereo, has the corresponding positive and negative, or black and red. It's important that you make sure you hook up these properly because over time, the speaker is not designed to be hooked up backwards. So over time, it will actually hurt the speaker and it might cause um, you know sound quality deterioration over time so you don't want to hook them up backwards I'm going to show you a couple tricks to help you hook these up straightforward let's take a quick look at how to put these wires into the back of the speaker it's simple it's just a little button that you press and then that holds the, the wire in there against the terminal so it's simple, you press the button and just push the wire in. And now let's take a look at the back of the receiver. These twist connections on the back of the receiver, you always have to make sure your wire is nice and good to go, nice and clean. You just twist that open. Lefty, loosey, righty, tighty. These ones, same as on the back of the speaker, you just press the button down and as you can see, it opens up the little space and you're gonna put the wire in. No problem. On this particular stereo, we have front speakers. They take the majority of the music stereo signal playing. And if you have a surround sound, we have subwoofer, surrounding speakers, and center speaker. And we also have B speakers at the end. B speakers on this particular system would be like maybe outdoor speakers or speakers for a different room. So this, this receiver could be actually be wired in for multiple rooms in your house. So that's kind of cool, but take that into consideration when you're setting it up so you don't get confused. So I'm gonna be setting up the subwoofer right now, and I noticed that one of my wires is not great. It's falling apart, and it's pretty much, it's gonna have to be stripped. And if you're new to setting up stereo, stripping wires is something that you might, you know, you know you're gonna have to do quite often, unless your stereo has a plug, which not, all of them do right so i stripped one of the wires here and then i noticed you know it's not uh, great so i want to fix it up so essentially what stripping a wire means is removing the insulation on the outside of the wire you can do this with no tools except for a pair of scissors you can do this with a knife too but i find scissors easy so what you do is score the outside of the insulation just enough and then you want to bend the wire after you've scored that, take your time. Then you want to bend the wire and break that insulation, and slide it off. I got lucky here, it's just one strand of wire off. That's pretty good. If you get one or two, that's fine. If you get any more than that, you might start uh, compromising audio quality. So make sure they're nice and clean and twisted up. And this wire has a white line if you can see it. That's so you can identify which wire is positive at the speaker and which wire is positive at the receiver. So you always want to hook your speakers up properly. This is another way here. One wire is red and we can the red wire can be the positive wire and the silver wire we can use that as the negative wire and that gives us a way to easily tell which one's positive and which one's negative. And if they're a little long you can just fold them in half and then put them in like that, make them all nice and smooth. And it's better than getting clippings everywhere. You can just fold them in half and uh, they'll fit in nice and smooth. So this is the subwoofer connection right there. It's purple and black. It works the same, you just press the tab down, put the wire in. Let's check out the receiver, purple and black. 
And this is the receiver right here. The purple tab and the black negative at the bottom, the subwoofer. So it's simple as that, just plug and play. And a lot of different and a lot of different stereos have a lot of different settings and sometimes it can get slightly confusing. One of my viewers asks, my A speaker says it's off. I have front and back, both front and back were working, cut off the speaker A somehow, which was the surrounding sound. So I wanted to show something quickly on here. On my receiver, I have two settings right here. I have a speaker's A setting and a speaker's B. On the surround sound on this stereo, speaker's A is the only surround sound. Speaker's A is your music, surround sound, it's your two main speakers, and there's different configurations, but there is a general switch from speaker's A to speaker's B. And make sure that you always have your corresponding speaker's A hooked up to speakers A. I have had this issue before where sometimes you just lose all sound from the speakers. And you never know, something could happen where you accidentally press the button, you didn't realize that speakers A was turned off, and you're kind of freaking out because you're not having any sound. So if you're having any sound issues, first of all, check your settings. Make sure sound A is on, make sure your volume's up, make sure it's on the right input, make sure all your settings are good with your stereo. And second of all, if that's good, then check your inputs themselves, check all the wiring, everything putting sound into the device. If it's an FM radio or if it's built into the stereo, that narrows it down pretty quick. If it's coming from an HDMI input, check your HD, give everything a little wiggle, check to make sure everything is installed physically properly. And the third thing is, you're gonna wanna check your speakers to make sure they're actually plugged in properly. Just in case, if you haven't moved them or you haven't even touched them, then the chances of this are next to none. But if you have been moving them around and you know you're not too sure what's been going on, you might you know you might as well give them a check. Just narrow your list down, get them off the list, and then you know exactly what's going on. Because maybe one of those just came out and you just got to get it back in, or your stereo could just be in the wrong settings and it just needs to get reconfigured. That's it. So if you have any questions at all, any stereo, any, anything, let me know and I can help you out as much as I can. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications on because I'm constantly working on new content and I'm here to help. So give me a comment and I, I'd like to help you out on your journey of stereos and any awesome products. So let me know.